So these are my pieces. You can see this is the back and this one is meant for the front. Now the reason why this is a bit pointed, you can see, it's because of the shape of the um, main body's pattern, the shoulder point. So now I'm just going to blend a little here so that it can be a bit curvy. All right, um, it's not that bad. I don't really think so. So right now for our off shoulder, now this can be transformed into several designs. Okay, there are some pictures you'll be seeing on your screen that would actually give you an idea of what to do with this particular pattern. Now this can be turned into an off shoulder, which, which is why I'm making this video. Okay, and it can also be turned as a normal, you know, um, bodies with a kind of short sleeve the main reason why i am making this video is to have an off the shoulder okay so you can see what it looks like now now the off the shoulder from this point this note that this is the shoulder tip okay this is the shoulder tip this is the edge from this is the neck it goes like this and for the um front as well you have the same thing this is the shoulder so don't forget that and this is what you are going to be working with because it's going to be like a guide to you okay so right now from this shoulder tip now i'll come out you know i mean i'm moving away completely from the shoulder now you can do a kind of round so that you just you just maintain about quarter or half an inch or one inch on the shoulder before you draw your style line but here is going to be an off the shoulder so i'm going to leave the shoulder completely and come you know to the to the sleeve part okay so right now i'm going to just measure measure this way one inch so i don't want it too off you can do one and a half if you want but one inch is fine for me Okay, so this is the back. Just ensure you place it side by side this way. Don't forget that this line will be exactly the same thing as the bodies. Do you understand? So you, there's no need to, you know, really bother yourself. So just bring it close, very close to the sleeve before you draw your style line. So you can just like from here to here, this is the back so you can just measure about two inches from this point you measure somewhere around here okay then you just connect to this point i hope you can see what i'm doing i just hope let me use my pen to draw it. Okay. Let me just put it this way. So from this point to this point is one inch. okay so this is what i have so i am moving i have moved completely from the shoulder tip can you see this is the shoulder tip and this is my style line okay so this is what we have and you can even make it like from here to here you can measure about, like about three inches okay and draw something like this From here to here about three inches and draw something like this and stop here okay stop here i hope you understand so what you are going to do you just this is another design i'm trying to show you 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 tape it together make it one then you cut this place off this part you cut it off okay and you cut this part off as well this part you cut it off that's all. So you sell salute from here to here. So that means you are having something like this, a small hand. 
of the shoulder with a small hand. And even if you like, you can join this part with the remaining sleeve. You can turn it to a kind of gathers puff, just like the one on your screen right now. I hope you understand. So it will now the, the, the whole pattern will, will now change, and this is how it's going to be. This place there won't be this part anymore. You just be like this and stop here. Only one pattern. You are not joining. You are not going to sew. You are only going to tape it and make it one. Then you cut this part off. So a lot of designs you can make from this. Okay. So but let's just maintain what we have right now. So this is what we have. So I'm going to be cutting this part off. Going to be cutting this side off i'm cutting this side off as well so i'm maintaining just this all right let me just go over to the front and do the same so this is the shoulder tip i'll measure one inch to this point so let me just measure one inch from the shoulder tip Okay, so this is it. So, so can you see what we have? Then I'll come down by maybe one or two inches, as the case may be, or like this. So, whichever one. No matter how low you want. So this is it. Can you see? So. So this is one inch away from the shoulder. Okay, and you can do 1.5 as the case may be. So this is what I have. Okay, so now let's go. So I'll just cut here like that. Don't forget this is the center front. And we have the center back here. CB. My um, off shoulder style line, you can see it. So all I need to do is to cut this, cut this, and I'll be left with this and this. Can you see what I have now? Don't forget to blend this part. Very, very important. You need to blend it. Anyway, by the time I add my seam allowance, I'll just blend it together. Okay, so you can see how it looks like. This is it. So I'm going to be attaching this to this. Now, let's, let me um, cut the back. This is the front, so I don't need this anymore. So I will just fold this first. So I'll just cut this. Right, this is what I have. So now let me try to cut on fabric. So because I don't have to, I don't have much of fabric. So I'll just reduce the length of this. I am reducing the length because I don't have much fabric. Okay, so and this as well. For the darts on the front part, you can move, you can do a side dart here, okay? You can do a side dart 
all you need to do is to open this and reduce this that to a waist that maybe like one inch then the rest will move here all right so this is what you can do if you want to still have a side that and waist that if you if you want to do maybe a kind of um, princess that you can just from here move it connect this line and draw your princess kind of that here and locate your under bust and contour a little here so that at least to have little fitting okay and you can even do a kind of straight princess as well the one that will lead to the shoulder there's no shoulder here anymore so you know so just play around what you have and you are good to go okay so now let's try to cut and do something okay so this is i am done cutting the bodies so it remains the sleeve so i am going to be cutting this sleeve together you can cut separately cut this cut this then join but since it can be mashed up this way and cut at once okay like an only one kind of sleeve so that is what i'll be doing so all i will do is just what seam allowance here seam allowance here then seam allowance here but for this tutorial because i'm using just scrap scrap fabric so i'm not adding seam allowance to the um top part okay so just here here that's all i'm not adding seam, but make sure if you're making it for someone or for yourself make sure all the sides have seam allowance okay so this is how i'm going to be cutting my So you can see what I have right now. The sleeve is one now and I cut two. One for each side. Okay, so this is what I have. And please don't forget to note the back and the front. Okay, so this is going to be the front with two strokes. And this is going to be the back. Or you write B. You write F okay simple as that then on the other side as well b f okay so now i can join so i won't be sewing the dots no that i'll just leave the dots as it is okay then let me proceed and join mm -hmm. 